Dear listeners, wherever you are, tonight on July 4th, 2023, as time says 3 minutes past 10. With me once again is Brother Witness with a very special message the Lord has given him, I find it necessary and important to share this message as some of U.S. may have friends and relatives residing in the affected area. I implore you to take this warning seriously, and spread it to as many people as you can. Remember the Lord speaks and communicate with us in various ways and in these last days He is doing just that. Allow me at this point to call upon Brother Witness to share with us the message the Lord has given him. All right, thank you very much. I thank our Heavenly Father for yet another opportunity though it is quite late in the night, to once again share the messages the Lord has been giving me. The message I'm sharing tonight was given to me on July 23, 2023. Mm -hmm. Rather on July 3rd, 2023. In this message as I was in my bedroom, I prayed asking the Lord to further reveal to me more on the heavy and destructive rains which I forewarned about as was to come. Specifically I prayed the Lord to show me the country which will be affected by this heavy and destructive rainfall. I really was anxious to know the affected country as the Lord doesn't just give me messages or warnings that concerns or affects Malawi as a country only but also shows me what is due to take place even in other countries as well, for instance when I warned about the heavy and destructive rains in the past. I also warned about the cyclones which will affect various and many places. And it so happened that we had these cyclones. Some of which affected us here in Malawi while others affected other countries as well. It is against this background that I prayed asking the Lord to show me the place or country which will be affected by this heavy and destructive rainfall. Besides there were several things which I asked the Lord to further reveal to me on what is lying ahead of us whether positive or negative. After these prayers I felt asleep and that's when I now heard a voice while asleep. The voice which I heard said Oklahoma, North America. There is going to be a great crisis there. This is the message I was given. Oklahoma, North America, there is going to be a great crisis there. Whenever I get these kinds of messages if or while I was asleep, I usually don't sleep anymore, and in most cases I often just get out of my bed. Likewise at this time after getting this message I woke up and grabbed my noted book and wrote this name for fear that I may forget it. In the morning, I then started searching and trying to find out if at all there is indeed such a place in the world called Oklahoma, is it a city? Or is it a country like Malawi? Mm -hmm. If indeed it is a country like Malawi, then on which continent is it located? Since during the night I was told of North America, so I wanted to find out if indeed it is right there. Because my impression was that if it is not there then surely this message was not meant for that place. I therefore had to ask my child to look it up in the dictionary, unfortunately he couldn't find any leads, I also personally looked it up in my phone's dictionary app, but I could only get an error message indicating that I may have written a wrong spelling for the word Oklahoma. Then later this evening, I asked a certain woman to help me find out if Oklahoma is a town or a country, and on which continent can it be found. I had to do this to cross-check and proofread the message I got in the night. It did not take this woman much time to get back to me with a feedback, and she told me that it's a place that, she just said Oklahoma is in North America and she went on to say that it is near Texas in North America. 
Mm -hmm. Having heard this I was thrilled to discover that it is exactly as I was told mm -hmm. in that voice that there is going mm -hmm. to be great crisis in Oklahoma in North America. This is why I thought it really necessary to share this warning with our dear listeners especially as it is not ideal to ignore any potentially dangerous or vital warnings. May I also thank you so much for having thought it wise to record this message so that it can be shared with others although it is still quite late in the night. Sure, thanks and let me stop it right here. Praised be the Lord for the message which we have been given concerning the Oklahoma City. Dear listener in case you don't know, in Oklahoma City there once used to be a certain huge pillar on which were written the Ten Commandments of God. But in the year 2015, they voted to remove these laws by October 12. And this was done, seven out of eight people voted for the removal of these laws, while just one out of eight people voted to retain the laws. Those who can please find out or search the numerous evils that take place in this city, you will be ashamed by the evils that take place in this city. This is not a surprise at all that this time we are getting these warning messages of the impending crisis due to take place in this city. Let us keep watching as the Lord told Habakkuk to write the vision, and make it plain though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. What choice and decision are you going to make? In case you have friends and relatives living in Oklahoma, you may wish to inform and warn them of what may happen in their city. I understand that if your friends warn you of a road you are traveling on that there is a broken bridge ahead or a lion ahead, you ought to listen and make an informed decision. May the dear Lord bless you till we meet again in yet another episode and we come again with yet another message from Brother Witness. Bye, bye.